We got that baby buffed. Three stages of compound. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you've been following my uh, projects the last couple weeks, you remember I was uh, clear coating those carbon fiber spoilers I had just because they were oxidizing and they were starting to look like crap. So I've got my rear trunk spoiler here and I've also got my roof spoiler that I clear coated. And if you recall from those videos, if you haven't checked them out yet, you go ahead and check them out on the link up here. But they, um, uh, I, they, they were pretty good. I mean, they were like 80, 90% when I was uh, finished with them as far as the clear and everything and the gloss. And I, I like the gloss and all that, but there were some minor imperfections that I wanted to get rid of. Rid of. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, wet sand them from uh, with whatever sandpaper up to uh, I think 1500. Then I'm gonna compound polish them just to get all those uh, imperfections out and then I'm gonna mount them on the car. So um, if you guys wanna check that out, stay tuned. And don't forget if, you, um, if you're new to the channel and you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video. You know, if you have any questions for me or any kind of comments or anything, just go ahead and comment below. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. So this is the rear trunk spoiler that I had really good shine and coat on here except for those fish eye and then that one little um, dry edge that I had there so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna I'm gonna wet sand this thing I'm gonna wet sand it with an 800 to knock down a lot of these little uh, fish eye and any kind of dust bumps I could feel in here uh, after that I'm gonna hit it probably with a 1200 and a 1500 and that should cut it good enough where I could get it buffed and then I'll buff it with some Meguiar's polish and I'll see how that turns out I was able to knock down most of those high spots and then even the low spots I was able to get down with that 800. That's what left all the scuffs. The back side here, that, that little area right here where I was having some, um, you know, that dry edge. So it looks like it left a bunch of little micro bubbles. So I had to take it down with a 600 just to knock it down a little. I might, I might still have to do it more because you can still see some of those little micro bubbles in there that one's gonna be a pretty thin spot but I had to take it down with 600 and then 800 there the rest of this back area was kind of you know you had a little bit of pitting and some fish eye not really fish eye but more like pitting because it was on a horizontal surface when I painted it so I had to knock that down to get it a little bit smoother before I painted or before I buff so I just need to finish this one and then hit it with a 1200 and then a 1500 So I go, went over it with the first pass and it's acceptable. I think I'm gonna have to put some temporary double-sided tape on the car and actually buff this on the trunk so I can get some more leverage. The uh, compound did a pretty good job of what it's supposed to do, which is cut the clear coat. There's still some areas that are kind of hazy that I couldn't work in with the compound. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna temporarily put some double-sided tape on the trunk and then attempt to buff it on the trunk. That way I can work it. I can put more pressure on it and get some shine out of it. We got this baby nice and compounded. Got all the areas that were suspect here shined up. Everything's nice and glossy on the coat. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit it with the polish. So 
I got the polish all done up. You can see it's pretty freaking glossy. The only there's only a couple spots that I wasn't really happy with, but I've already spent so much time on it that I'll, I'm just gonna leave it as is. See right around the edge there, there's those little microscopic bubbles. So that what happened there is I think when I was overlapping layers, I probably laid down a wet layer and then I went over it again with another wet layer and it kind of bubbled up. It reacted underneath and it caused those bubbles. So I got a couple of spots back here. I got, you know, earlier that spot right here, I got most of that out. Uh, you can still see a little bit of bubble haze there. Afraid to get it too thin, you know, sand it down too thin. I found another spot there and then I think one over here that, uh, but overall it's probably a nine out of 10 on as far as everything goes. The clear is nice and shiny. I've got, you know, smooth. Uh, I should have gone up to a 2000. I thought 1500 was enough, but I should have gone 2000 because with 1500 you still kind of leave some micro scratches that the compound doesn't really get out fully so yeah with the 2000 it probably would have taken a lot of those scratches down and been a lot smoother surface as far as when you're sh reflecting it off of light but if you look at it or feel it you don't feel those lines they're so tiny and thin so today we're going to be putting on the 3m tape onto this spoiler just kind of get it all the way to the edges all the way around um, I've already cleaned this off so there's not really much on here it's still kind of got the clear coat and everything from when I plant painted it so all the contaminants and everything were pretty much gone so it should be a pretty good oil free surface to see. test fitted it and between about 14 inches so from, from about three inches in from here over to about 14 here it doesn't make contact with the window because it's bowed up too much so I'm gonna have to trim this down and then put another layer of 3m tape on top of that so I have a double layer here so it can meet the window here. The center right here is fine and then the edges, the first three inches make contact but the area right here doesn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and install a spoiler. First I'm gonna wipe it down with that paint prep that I've been using to clean the car during compounding and and uh, paint correction. Wipe that down where you're gonna use it and just let it dry. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna peel just two sides and kind of just uh, get it started and uh, place it since I'm by myself, I gotta place it where the old the spoiler was mounted before, just to make sure it sticks on a little corner. I'm gonna tuck the little red tape out and then just kind of pull it off to the side and then let it stick down. So I got it installed on there, I had to make sure I had the same gap on this side as well as this side. So I got that pretty good. Make sure the back is nice and flush with the trunk lid and then you know all the edges are stuck down. I'm going to end up heating it up 
because um, some of these edges I didn't feel like it would down deep enough so I'm gonna heat it up with the heat gun kind of press it down using that microfiber towel I have up here just to make sure I get a good adhesion there and then I'm gonna fast forward through the roof one if you guys want to see the slow part of the roof one go ahead and uh, check out that video I did initially when I first installed this but I'll just go through that really fast <laughs> spot that's kind of lifting here because uh, I think the spoiler is kind of out of shape so I'm gonna end up just taping it down to the while well, I heat it up just to get it better Got that baby buffed three stages of compound it was the compound the polish and then the ultra fine polish that fine that last ultra fine polish is more of like a it's like a wax not it's not a wax but it's a polished wax it's, it's really wet and it gives it that final deep shine but use that sanding block got it nice and flat no more orange peel or anything so that thing is nice and smooth there you see the reflection in the light same with the trunk spoiler Super nice. I hit that thing with a uh, little bit of polish after I was done with that other one. Everything's nice and done now. So, hey guys, thanks for sticking around all the way to the end of this video. As you can see, the installation of these spoilers was pretty straightforward and easy. Using the 3M double sided tape makes the job really easy. Luckily, my rear spoiler, I never had an OEM factory spoiler, so I didn't have any holes to deal with. So, I was able to use this ISF spoiler. The hardest part was doing that whole polishing and buffing and all that uh, that I had to do on these uh, spoilers to get them uh, shiny. You saw my a uh, couple episodes ago where I did the clear coat on the I did the 2k clear coat to get the shine back on them but in order to get it fully shiny you have to wet sand and buff and polish and that's what I ended up doing today you know watch the all the way to the end of this video right so look out for the next couple episodes I'm gonna get that around to uh, doing the whole ceramic coat if you saw my more recent episodes where I did the whole um, paint correction on this car the, the whole paint you know all the paints been corrected on this car I've buffed it I, you know compounded it polished it buffed it and uh, there's no wax on it anymore so now I got to put the ceramic coat on and uh, get it all cured up so um, you know don't forget to subscribe to your channel like this video and stay tuned uh, for that ceramic coat video and all my other future car videos so thanks for watching